In today's episode, you will learn how to use an LDR, light dependent resistor, to control an LED, light emitting diode. The LED will be turned on and turned off depending on the light intensity in the room. This project can also be used for day and night detection. The components that we will be needing for this tutorial are number one Raspberry Pi the one I'll be using is Raspberry Pi 3B plus you can also use any other version of Raspberry Pi number two 5 volt 2 amps adopter or you can also use a power bank number three an LED the longer leg is the anode and the shorter leg is the cathode number four a 330 ohm resistor Number five, some male to female type jumper wires. Number six, LDR, a light dependent resistor. And finally, number seven, 10 microfarad capacitor. This leg is positive and the leg on the line side is the ground. These components can be purchased from Amazon. The components purchase links are given in the description. Let's get started. This schematic is designed in Gatesoft Eagle 9.1.0 version. If you want to learn how to make schematics and PCBs, then watch my tutorial. The link is given in the description. This is the circuit which I explained in my previous tutorial. In this tutorial, we control this LED using this push button. Now let's make this a bit complex by adding an LDR. So this time we will control this LED using an LDR. Let's modify this circuit by adding an LDR and a 10 microfarad capacitor. So now you can see one leg of the LDR is connected with 3.3 volt and the other leg of the LDR is connected with the positive leg of the 10 microfarad capacitor. While the other leg of the capacitor is connected with the ground. Now take a wire from the middle and connect it with pin number 7 of the Raspberry Pi. Our circuit diagram is completed. So LD is connected with pin number and the RC circuit is connected with pin number 7. As you can see all the components are interfaced as per the circuit diagram. As you can see the LED is connected in series with a 330 ohm resistor. The cathode side of the LED is connected with pin number 6 which is the ground pin of the Raspberry Pi. The anode side is connected with the resistor while the other end of the resistor is connected with pin number 11. On this side an LDR is connected in series with a 10 microfarad capacitor. The first leg of the LDR is connected with pin number 1 which is the 3.3 volt pin. The other leg of the LDR is connected with the positive leg of the capacitor. And a wire from the middle is connected with pin number 7 of the Raspberry Pi. And the ground leg of the capacitor is connected with the ground. So that's it. Now let's power up a Raspberry Pi. Now we are ready for the programming. As you can see, no keyboard and mouse is connected and it has no physical connection with the laptop or an LCD. Because as I explained in my previous tutorials, we will be using the SSH network using the booty software to write and execute programs. So I recommend you should watch my previous tutorials. The links are given in the description which completely explains how to set up your SSH network using Wi-Fi. Open the PuTTY software. 
enter the IP address of your Raspberry Pi and click open. Enter Pi as your login name and Raspberry as your password and click enter. As you can see we are logged in. Use clear command to clear the screen. Use the ls command to list all the files and folders. Open the YouTube folder by typing cd youtube and press enter. Now use the ls command to list all the files. LED1.py is the program that I created in my last tutorial. Now let's make another file with the name LDR and extension.py. Simply type sudo nano ldr.py and press enter. As you can see, an editor is opened. First, we start by importing rpi.gpio time and then use the set mode function to specify the numbering scheme which will be used. I have already explained these three instructions in my second tutorial, so I recommend you should watch that tutorial the link is given in the description. Then define a variable delay time and set it to 0.1. Later if you want to change the delay you can simply change this value over here. Now let's define another variable with the name value and set it to 0. This variable will be used to store the LDR value. Now let's define pins. LDR equals 7. LDR is connected with pin number 7. LED equals 11. LED is connected with pin number 11. Now let's use the gpio.setup function to set the LED as output. As you know LED is an output device. Now let's use the gpio.output function to turn off the LED. By default, we keep the LD in off state. Now let's make a user defined function with the name RC underscore time. RC underscore time is a user defined function and it takes one argument as the input, which is the LDR, as LDR is connected with pin number 7. Let's make another variable with the name count and set it to 0. First set pin number 7 which is LGR as output. For this use gpio.setup function. Now use the gpio.output function to turn off pin number 7 which is LGR. Now use the time.sleep function for the delay. Now let's change pin number 7 which is LGR back to input. Now let's make an infinite while loop by simply typing while true. Now let's print the LDR value. For this we use the print function. First store the LDR value and variable value. Value equals RC underscore time function and use the print function to print this value. Now let's use F conditions to turn on and turn off the LED. The value 10,000 is selected after testing this project in my room. And then use the exception and finally instructions which I've already explained in my previous tutorials. So now our program is ready. Press Ctrl O on the keyboard to save and then press Ctrl X to exit the editor. Now use the ls command to list all the files. As you can see the ldr.py file is created. 
Let's run this program by simply typing python ldr.py and press enter. As you can see light is falling on the LDR so that's why the value is below 10,000. But as I put my finger on top of the LDR the value increases above 10,000. Now let me turn off my room lights. As you can see by turning on and turning off my room lights I can control this LED. This project can be used to detect day and night. This project can also be used in security systems and so on. I hope you liked today's episode. Like and share this video with your friends. See you in next episode and thanks for watching.